Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Metal and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to create metal sheets or other metal surfaces in Quixel Mixer. So let's start. So first what I like to do is to add a solid layer with a color of the metal that I like. So I just turn off all these and go to the albedo and pick color. And I want to do this bright yellow. I think this looks really nice. Let's go to the local library and search for metal. Then all types. And yeah, just look what we have. And I think the stained marble backlight just looks really good and somewhat exotic. So I will add this. And we got it here. Let's decrease the opacity. Okay. And let's actually change the albedo of this to something red, like that. Yeah, I think this just looks a bit nicer. Yeah, this looks good. And then we go back and just search for metal surfaces that we like. Okay, and I found this rust painted metal and I will add this. And let's decrease the opacity of this a bit. So we have something like this. I think this looks fine as a metal. Let's give the rust a bit more contrast, maybe a little bit more contrast to the metalness and a bit more contrast to the roughness. So we get a result like this. Pretty nice. And what I like to do is add a paint layer too. Now let's go to the top like this. You can also go from 3D view to 2D view like that. And what I like to do now is get this rebar, and just paint a bit with it. Okay guys, and I think this looks somewhat fine. We can also add this linear gradient if we want. So let's go back to the 2D view. Then let's rotate it by 180 degrees. And also add this linear gradient on the other side. Okay, and if we are done, we can go back to the 3D view and then turn the opacity from the albedo down or just turn it off. And it looks like this now. We have this nice metal sheet. Also, we can adjust the overall opacity how we like it. And yeah, this would be one way how you can really simply create your own materials from stuff that already exists. But it's way different from what we had earlier. You can see this if I turn all the layers off. And yeah, then you have your own material. And then you can go to export select all the things you like and just export your material. I hope you liked this video. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If not, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.